Morning everyone, how are you all doing? Um, today I am actually coming to you from a hotel very close to Stansted Airport because I stayed here last night all by myself, that's why this is the first time I've spoken today actually, I thought I'd have a really croaky voice. Um, bit lonely, I miss Mark when um, he's not in the hotel room with me, but hey, it doesn't matter because today in like, don't even know what the time is, but um, at in about two hours I'm getting on a plane to go to Parma in Mallorca, which is awesome. Um, I'm going for five days and yeah, I'm kind of going by myself, but I'm going with a group of other bloggers, which would be really cool. Um, we've got a big lot of plans happening. We're going with Jet2. Um, they're taking us out there. We've got loads of things we're doing. Hopefully I'll get time to go and have a look at some gluten-free restaurants. Hopefully there's stuff in the restaurants that we're going to that I can eat. Um, but yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm all ready. So just as I did in Paris, I thought I would do an outfit of the day. So this top is from And Other Stories. Mark got it for me for Valentine's Day. Actually love it. So nice. Um, jeans. Same jeans I was wearing in Paris, actually. Um, these are my Joni jeans. Very comfortable. Got some nice bright Converse on. Bought some new ones recently. Um, only just started wearing them and they're hurting my feet. Hopefully not for too long. Oh, and this is my case. I don't know where my case is from, but it's a nice coloured case and it's very big. Let's get going. Right, so I've made it to the airport, met up with the others. Everyone seems really nice. Haven't met any of them before, but they're super nice people. Had a peppermint tea. Got some porridge from Starbucks and it was actually quite nice. Um, didn't eat it all though. Just felt like I needed something for the plane um, because, you know, my stomach's not the best. So yeah, we're now waiting for the shuttle to go to our gate. And I must admit to you now, I'm not the best flyer in the world. I've had some bad experiences, um, but I'm hoping that I'll be okay today. Um, I'm gonna keep calm and I'm just gonna, gonna relax and enjoy the flight and look forward to sunshine, hopefully. Although I've heard it's gonna rain, so God knows. Anyway, um, yeah, gotta rush. Welcome to Palmer. Um, welcome me, I guess. Um, I've just got to my room and I thought I would, maybe I can quickly show you around before we go for lunch because obviously after I am in here for like 10 minutes, I'll probably make it a complete mess. So let me turn the camera around now and I'll show you my room. So I've just come in this door here and you walk through and you've got these big things. Hello, probably need to get changed in something a bit cooler, although it's not that warm. Um, so let me come through. Got some shelves and got uh, the fridge, lots of drinks in it. Got a nice big bed, which looks very comfortable. I've got a desk, TV, can't speak Spanish, so I'm not sure how useful that will be. Um, got a chair, and then got this nice balcony, which is very nice. And um, you can see the pool. I can see the sea, I can see everything. So this isn't half bad. Um, and let me just go back in and uh, show you my bathroom. I haven't looked at it yet, so we don't know what it's like. Okay, so I've got a shower over a bath, very nice. I've got a nice sink. Oh, I like this sink, that's cool. Um, got a hairdryer and I've got a toilet. And I got one of those, are they called B-Days, I think? Oh, I've got a phone, I can have a chat. I can call Mark whilst I'm on the loo. Um, probably not for that. So yeah, that's my room. And um, I'm just looking forward to having a really nice day. The flight was really good, the flight was really simple. I actually had three seats to myself. Um, I don't know if I showed that already. But yeah, we're gonna go and have some lunch and I don't actually know what the day is gonna bring, but hopefully it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> down to the pool after lunch which is looking absolutely beautiful 
I cannot believe how lucky I am to come here really. Like it's just so nice and it just seems so nice in February, it's crazy. Um, so yeah, this is one of our pools, which I think it might be a bit nippy this time of year. Um, so I'm not sure I'll be going in it, but we shall see. But then we can see out here, like the beautiful, like you can see the sea just like over there. It's not very far away. It's just so nice. I'm so happy to be here. Like, how am I here? It's like crazy. So yeah, we've got about an hour now, I think, until we're going out again. We've literally just finished lunch and it's like, I think it's gone three and we're gonna have dinner. I guess in Spain, actually, you have dinner a lot later. It's not gonna be like at six o'clock, seven o'clock, like at home. It's probably gonna be at nine o'clock, but we're going out um, at about five. So I think we've got to go and get ready, but a very nice person. Um, the person who's like showing us around, I guess he's the hotel manager. Um, he's called Max. He's a lovely guy. Um, he is going to show us the best view of Mallorca in his opinion, um, which I think must be at the hotel. But it's honestly, this hotel is amazing and I am so, so happy to be here. Yeah, let's, let's go and jump in the pool. <laughs> Only joking, I'm not going in there. So I've literally just got back to my room before we go out again and I have received some little lovely chocolates that look really delicious. That chocolate straw looks amazing. Yes, please. That's going to go out, go down well later. Um, and then I've got a nice little note. Dear Mrs. I'm not Mrs. XL, hey? I'm, I'm Miss XL. <laughs> we warmly welcome you to the hotel. We hope you have a pleasant stay. And... Ooh, look at this. I've got this as well. Right, so I'm all ready for our first evening out. I think we're going out now, which is about five o'clock and not coming home till 11. So I didn't really know what to wear. Um, I'm just wearing a shirt from Warehouse, some white trousers and some shoes. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that I'm dressed appropriately. I'm taking my All Saints leather jacket as well because you can't go wrong with an All Saints leather jacket. Um, and yeah. I'll take you along, let's see what the food is like and hopefully the sunshine continues to shine upon us. from our meal out the steak was absolutely amazing we basically had tons and tons of different tapas like i can't even remember what it was all what it all was there was some like razor clams some sardines some black truffle stuff some anchovies and i freaking love anchovies apologies if i look a mess i'm in my pajamas <laughs> but yeah i am going to take my makeup off um just relax for a bit probably even though i should go straight to sleep i need to have a look at my laptop because i have an all day and probably have some emails to sort out and all that stuff but yeah i don't even know what we're doing tomorrow i think we're going to a castle some really cool castle maybe i think we're going to a cathedral which um just makes me laugh because when i was a kid right we came to mallorca i wasn't a kid actually i was i think that makes me feel bad now. I was 18, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was 18. Um, so it was in 2009 and we came to Mallorca and my mum and my dad really wanted to go into the cathedral in Palma and me and my brother decided that we didn't really want to. We're like, no, we don't want to go in there. And we kicked up a bit of a fuss, which is terrible when you think about it being 18, but we did. And we didn't go in. And my mum, when I told her I was going to Palma Cathedral, she just was like, really? Sorry mum, but I'm gonna enjoy it for you um, on this trip. But yeah, I don't really know, um, as I said, what we're up to too much on this holiday. I'm just, let I've got an itinerary, but I'm just letting it go with the flow. I'm well looked after here, and I'm just enjoying myself. Fingers crossed the weather's gonna be nice tomorrow as well. So I'll see you in the morning, I guess. Bye. Feeling alone. Yeah, so we're currently 
at the castle. I don't know too much about it because my history isn't great. Obviously, Spanish history isn't my thing, but we've got the lovely Louisa with us who is telling us all we need to know. Um, and I need to listen a bit more. I've just been looking at the beautiful views and this castle just reminds me of something from Game of Thrones. This courtyard is like, it's so cool. Um, so yeah, we're just wandering around. As I said, I'm wearing this still, this t-shirt and I'm a bit cold, but <laughs> it's because we're quite high up. Hopefully it won't be like this all the time, but this castle is absolutely beautiful as you can see. It's so nice to come here in like February time where like it's not that, it's not that busy or anything. There's quite a few people here, um, but it's not too bad. So we get to just have a lot of space, a lot of chill out time and get to experience it properly how you actually want to. So yeah, we're just gonna wander around and learn a bit about old school Spain history. The top of this castle gives like amazing views and it's like, I'm learning so much more about photography just by being here, just getting really good shots and stuff. Um, I could literally be here all day. It's, it's amazing and currently t-shirt was a good idea. It's a bit windy but we're up high. Um, and yeah, it's nice and sunny. I'm just loving life right now. And I think next on the menu, not the menu, but the agenda, the itinerary is, to, itinerary? Itinerary, can't say it, um, is to go to Palma Cathedral, which is, I can see it from here. You can't, but I can. Um, so yeah, we're going to get back on our bus and go there very, very shortly. <laughs> Castle of Aver, we have they have the stable, the boxes, the riding police. Oh, hello. Hello. Now this is something that I could do. It looks to be, it looks kind of like something I did when I was about three. No offense to Joan Miro, but I used to use crayons just like this and make pictures just like this for my mum and dad and give them to be like, here's a picture of you mum. And it kind of looked like this. So we're at this contemporary art museum and I'm just up on the terrace at the moment so I thought I'd say hello. Um, we just had an amazing, amazing lunch at a restaurant that the chef has a Michelin star. Um, I had some incredible food. It was not the sort of thing I would usually order but it was amazing. They were so accommodating for garlic, onion and like gluten, like none of them in it. Um, and they're just really, really friendly. I had like some nice salmon, I had some sea bass. I had like all the stuff that I only ever see on the telly, like foams. I never have foams in my food. I just think what's the point, but it actually worked really well. And then I had an amazing little yogurt pot, which wasn't just the, a yogurt pot like you get from the supermarket. It was an actual like really nice one. Um, oh, it was so nice. It was so, so good. So that was a very satisfying lunch. And we were just saying how three course meals in uh, Mallorca are very different to three course meals at home. As in, I'm not stuffed after I eat. I'm just like satisfied. Whereas at home, after three courses, I'd be dead, IBS attack and everything. But here, I'm, I'm doing all right. So I'm really happy about that. Um, but yeah, we're now going to go downstairs and have a look at the gallery. 
I think. I think the permanent gallery or something. I'm like learning as I go along. Don't really know what we're doing, but I think we're doing that for a bit and then we're gonna go and have a look into the old town or some different part of town, which should be nice. Um, and then we'll go back to the hotel and go out for some dinner tonight at some sort of gastro market, I think. It, gastro market? Is that the word? Gastro just sounds like my stomach problems. I don't know, I think it's a gastro market. I guess this, my stomach is in food and gastro, yeah? Gastronomic market or something, I think. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do afterwards. So, I don't know when our next vlog, but it could be then, who knows? guys um, this is super quick because I am late going downstairs to meet everyone um, but we're about to go out for dinner and I've put on some clothes didn't know what to wear because obviously I was cold earlier so I have socks on and jeans on which is good um, but we're going to some sort of market food market thing that we're gonna eat at tonight so I don't really know how it's gonna pan out um, I'll take you along with me obviously and film if I can but I'll just show you my outfit of the day as you can see I've got rabbits on <laughs> I wasn't sure about this outfit actually I'm such a confused dresser um but yeah i bought this ages ago and it's like a it's got rabbits on it and i don't know if i should have the top button done up or undone I might just have it undone um but it's like really wide so this is from topshop i got some new jeans the other day some new jonies these gray ones from topshop converse um and then i'm gonna wear my all saints leather jacket as well um so yeah hopefully this will do i think i do i think it looks quite cool all right I'll see you later. back to my hotel room which is quite nice because I am actually quite tired now um, had a really really nice day I obviously showed you um, quite a bit of what we had at dinner obviously a lot of the stuff that I was filming wasn't gluten free at all um, but how could I resist just putting it in because it looked so freaking good I actually had um, quite a mix of different things I had some sushi which was really nice all freshly made in front of me I had, what else do I have? Loads of different like Spanish cheeses, which were really nice. It was a bit of a weird mix of stuff. Um, I had some, I had some olives, which were very nice. And I had like some anchovies and stuff like that. All these things that I really like eating that are like naturally gluten free, which was really cool. Anyway, tomorrow, um, I think we're getting up nice and early. Well, we're supposed to be getting up nice and early. Lots of people, well not, I say lots of people, a couple of people went to the gym yesterday and I was thinking, you know, when some people go, you kind of want to go yourself, you think, oh, I should go. I'm not going to go, <laughs> I don't think, I cannot be bothered to do that, um, I'm just lazy, so I'm not going to be doing that, but I'm going to be going down having some breakfast again because that gluten-free zone at breakfast is awesome and yeah, after that I think we're going to some sort of market, um, we are going to walk around some shops. I am going to go and sit in bed now. I might call Mark because, you know, we're apart and <laughs> I like talking to him. So I might call Mark and then I'm probably just going to go to sleep because I'm tired. But yeah, I hope everyone has had a lovely day at this point of the vlog and I will speak to you in the morning. <laughs> 